Like my wife said, when you hear that word cancer, you know, you don't see it throughout your family. You know, like your mother or father, you know, they don't have it, and then all of a sudden your spouse get it. It's like, you know, your whole world come to an end. But then the next second after that, you gotta realize you gotta deal with it. She was diagnosed um, in January 2013 with mesothelioma. I said, look, we gotta find you the right kind of help, and we're gonna beat this thing. That was very, very difficult. It's gonna be hard for me to even talk about it here. It's just, that's how. She spent two and a half months in the hospital. She didn't eat anything during that whole period of time. And she was in a lot of pain, and she would look at me, and several times, two or three o'clock in the morning, she just told me, I I'm gonna give up. And we just held each other and said, we gotta get through this moment so we can keep on, keep on keeping on. We're gonna get out of this hospital. Then one day I went to her and said, look, do you, you feel well enough for me to call one of these numbers, just check it out and see what these lawyers are talking about, these commercials keep coming on? She said, yeah, I think it's, you can do that. I said, look, I, I want somebody I can uh, reach out and touch that lawyer, so let me call this one. It's in Houston. Call. Once Lawrence answered the phone and, and said, look, can I come out to your house and talk to you? We were like, we don't need to call any more law firms. I was so impressed the fact that he came out to our house. And he sat down with my wife and I and, and told us what mesothelioma was, how long this has been going on, and why these lawsuits are being filed. Well, lawsuits bring in awareness. It lets people know that uh, something bad happened a long time ago, and a lot of people are getting sick now. I feel firmly in that area that all mesothelioma victims ought to file a lawsuit.